the control system is is an arrangement of a physical components connected or related in such a manner as to command or direct or regulate itself or another system or is also defined as the means by which any quantity of interest in a process is maintained or altered in the desired manner there are two types of control system one is called as open control system and other is called as closed control so examples of open system open system are basically low cost the cost involved is low arrangement is very simple one example is the electric toaster another example we can give washing machine closed system is voltage stabilizer refrigerator air conditioning system plus system actually the cost involved is more in this one because some checking arrangement is required whether that output has been has been referred to the input block arrangement for open system is we have a reference input r of t we have a controller we have a actuating signal that is called as error signal and we have a control process and output of this one is called as control output or variable control variable output this is a block arrangement for open system open system are normally pre calibrated system one is represented by l c of t yesterday we have seen the laplace transform what is the laplace transform of this one r of s and what is the laplace transform of this is c of s so we defined here one term called as transfer function it is defined as the laplace transform of output upon the laplace transform of input that is c of s upon r of s as far as mechanical engineering concern is it the ratio of output upon input and what is the ratio of output upon input is it normally called as efficiency so any system we are monitoring the efficiency in control system it is called as transfer so what is the minimum value of efficiency is zero minimum value of efficiency one but the transfer function has minimum value equals to 0 and maximum value equal to what infinity that is the only difference so this take a range from 0 to 1 and it can take the range from 0 to infinity but basically they are same is output upon input and output upon input the following are the advantages of open loop system they are very simple this arrangement is very simple as compared to closed loop that does not require any type of sensor sensor is very costly and they have no stability problem in the case of closed loop system we do have a stability problem the ma- major disadvantage is that has lower performance than as compared to a closed loop r of t is called as reference input c of t is called as control output this one is feedback signal is normally represented by b of t this is r of t and this is b of t so this will be e of t e of t is called as error signal is called as feedback signal feedback will convert your signal into for comparison purpose comparator's job is to compare the input value and the feedback value let demonstrate this me with the example of the refrigerator in a refrigerator what we want is a temperature of minus 10 degree celsius and you have just kept the food inside the refrigerator and the current temperature is 20 degrees celsius so this current temperature 20 degrees celsius is converted using standard signal and this minus 10 is also compared so this is minus 10 and this one is 20 so error will be generated what we want actually minus 10 what is right now temperature in the freeze 20 so is a error is generated so error will trigger the electric supply to the compressor and the compressor will start so compressor will start so your vcrs vapor compression refrigeration system will start cooling will perform the cooling will perform this temperature then after some time become 10 degree celsius as soon as become 10 degree celsius it feed back again compare with minus 10 so what we want is minus 10 but right now is what 10 degree celsius so error is generated again the signal was given to the compressor compressor will be on this temperature further decreases to 0 degree celsius again the signal was monitored error was generated compressor is on system cooling will continue and now the temperature becomes minus 10 if the temperature become minus 10 and this is also minus 10 is the error is zero if the error is zero as soon as the error is zero is electric supply to the compressor is cut off 
and the refrigerator will stop. Open the fridge and you add the food, the cycle will continue. So in this case, if the machine is capable to take its own decision, that is called as closed system. No human interference is required in such system. I, normally the closed system is also called as feedback system. If the value of this feedback signal, check your board, this value is negative, it is called as and if this value is positive, it is called as positive feedback system. Depending upon the sign of feedback, it will be called as negative or otherwise will be called as positive feedback. So both types of feedback are possible, positive as well as negative feedback. So the difference between the open loop and closed loop are listed like this. Number one, as long as the calibration is good and open system performance will be accurate. So it entirely depends what is the washing machine controller has. Due to the feedback system, the performance closed loop system is always accurate. The organization in open loop system is easy and simple, whereas closed loop system is complicated. Now this is just set for 15 minutes or 10 minutes, so normally it will come in stable. But as you see in this example of thermo refrigerator, the temperature will be plus 10, minus 10, 0, minus 11.5. The system will become stable, but will take a long time. It depends what is the calibration of your feedback unit. Stability will be there, but it will take long time. It is non-linear. Non-linear means just like uh, for your this uh, wall of a washing machine, you set from 1 to 10 and 10 to 15. Now inside this one is basically a coil. Coil means a spring like this. Now this spring is basically non-linear. So when you tighten this one, it will get recoil and the strain energy will be stored inside this one. So performance of this one is linear, it's well and good. The scale will work fine. But if it is a non-linear, the scale will not work fine. Transfer function is defined as ratio of Laplace transform output. That equal to what? C of S divided by Laplace transform of input R of S. We can write this way as is C of S is equal to R of S multiplied by transfer function. Can we write like this? It means that this whole block will go as a single block like this and inside this I will write the term as transfer function. On the left hand side I have the input that equal to what? R of S and the output I will write C of S. And I will read this term like this or I will read like this. So indirectly is it a hidden sign equal to multiplication? So this value multiplied by this one, is it equal to this one? That is R of S multiplied by transfer function is equal to what? C of S. It means that a transfer function equal to what? C of S upon R of S. Agree? Okay, consider here a block of mass M resting using a spring of stiffness K and the damper da called as damping coefficient equal to C and is rest on the fixed surface. So M is in kg. A is called as spring constant it is normally Newton per meter. C is called as damping coefficient it is Newton second per meter. Assume that we apply certain force here or we just press this then will this mass system will move downward. If the mass will move downward, will the inertia will act upward. So this one is m x double dot inertia force. What is x? x is the displacement of this one. What is the second derivative of displacement is acceleration. So what is the Newton second law? Force equal to what? Mass into acceleration. And can we write this as m x m into x double dot. Similarly, the spring is get compressed. Naturally, the spring has a tendency to overcome the compression. So the force of the spring will act like this. So according to Hooke's law, the force is given by K multiplied by X. And then we have a damping coefficient here, C. This is also get compressed. When the damper is compressed, it has a natural tendency to come to the original position. Now this time, it's a velocity. So this force is given by C into x naught. Let me check the unit. Is it Newton second per meter 
this one is meter per second so is second per meter is cancel with meter per second so all this quantity is in newton so this x of t is the displacement we required and this f of t is the force we are given if we give this force we get this displacement so this one is called as input and this one is called as output so, so consider the fpd of this system let's show this force is f of t inertia is upward the spring force and the damping force is also upward so this one is f of t this one is the inertia force m x double dot with a derivative with a time function this one is c x dot is also a time function this one is k x can we apply sigma f y equal to 0 so if we apply the static condition we will get f of t that is the only force in downward direction the rest three forces are in the upward direction so what we get is m dot x double dot of time function plus c x dot of time function plus k x of time function force and the displacement will change with respect to time this one is input and this one is output the laplace transform of x of t is x of s laplace transform of the derivative of x of t is s into x of s and the second derivative will be s square into x of s these results are valid assuming the initial conditions are zero initial conditions are solution we take the laplace transform so taking laplace transform so what is the laplace transform f of t f of s this one is m dot this one is s square x common this one is this is not m dot this is simple m m for mass this one is c this is x dot multiplied by s plus k multiplied by x of s which is common to all agree okay? so what is this one is it a laplace transform of output and this one is what is a laplace transform of input so for this arrangement i can write a transfer function as Laplace transform output that is what x of s upon input f of s is this value equals to 1 upon m s square plus c s plus k. So what I am discussing is that anybody can see the mass system but as a control system somebody will say that this system on paper is this value equals to what f of s this value equals to what c of s and what is inside is 1 upon m s square plus b s plus c s plus k so this value multiplied by this value is it equal to this value x of s